Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A. and today I'm pretty excited. I am reviewing 31 drugstore foundations. I have set the controls all the same across the board. I used the same skincare. I applied them the same way with a beauty blender sponge and I used no primer and no under eye concealer. I just wanted to see how these foundations would work on their own over a well moisturized face. Now I did use the same skin care and I did try skin laundry. I think it was a perk I got with Sephora for 100 points. That's my cleanser and then I patted dry and I put on this um, Mizone. This is the Apple Smoothie Peeling Gel and that is a great little thing. Put a little blob on your hands and you rub it in circles around your face and you're going to find that it pulls out all of those extra little bunches of dry skin. It's a, a wonderful step. I would not be without it. It's absolutely a fabulous product and I think it is on Amazon. It's around 10 bucks for a big tube like this and it, it really makes a huge difference because you know when you have dry skin it usually means either you're not hydrated from the inside or you're not sloughing off enough of the dead skin cells because every 28 days your skin sheds a layer. I don't know if you knew that, but anyway, not all of it gets off and then another month goes by and it compounds and people with dry skin usually have this problem so you need to slough it off and you may think, well, I have dry skin, why would I ever want to make it even drier? But no, you're not. You are pulling off the dead skin cells so that the new skin the rejuvenated skin can breathe and come out. The third thing I use is an essence. This is the May Coop Raw Sauce and this is great. It's a maple tree sap based uh, essence and it's, um, it's actually a skin softener and it preps your skin uh, to take in whatever follows it. So it's kind of a step in between steps. And it's been um, very big in making the next step work better, and that's the serum. And I've been using, this time around, I've been using the Hyaluronic Acid. This one I got on Amazon. I like the eyedropper um, applicator because you just squeeze it and you can squeeze the exact amount of drops that you want. I usually put three, and I pat that into my skin. And then I wait um, a few minutes before I put my moisturizer on. I had gone to iMats and bought a whole bunch of makeup, but I only got samples of this. But they actually sell this Embryolisse um, Latte Cream Concentrate. They actually sell this in Target, and I think it's between $25 and $28. The, the shelf said one thing in my price tag receipt said another, but this is the um, Late Cream Concentrate, or the Milk Cream Concentrate and I think they had another type there but I didn't care for that. I think it was a Hydra Matte or something like that. I thought this one was, was great. So I use a little of this and I let it soak in about 10 minutes before I put any makeup over the top. Now the makeup was set by my Ben Nye Cameo Powder and I set all of them the same way. So use that beauty blender and I know sometimes it's best to use your fingers or it's best to use a brush like an artiste brush or a nice dense foundation brush or even one of those kind of paintbrush style brushes like the, the makeup artists use. Uh, whatever your choice is. I had to have controls straight across the board. I wanted everything to be applied the exact same way and have no difference except for the actual foundations. Um, 31 foundations, I try to go as broad spectrum as possible from the Ulta brand to Alme to Revlon to L'Oreal to Maybelline um, and then like LA Girl uh, there was some from Sally Beauty Supply <laughs> I tried a cushion foundation and um, I tried a little bit of everything and I think you'll be pleased with the assortment that I had uh, the big difference between this particular uh, war, if you want to call it war of the foundations, and the high-end one was that I found that a lot of these turned color on me. They went just a little bit dark, um, they dried kind of patchy, and they lasted most of the day. The ones that were the ugliest seemed to last the longest. I had a couple that turned kind of oompa-loompa orange on me, and they just stayed on for 
most of my work day, which is just great. <laughs> um, I did try a few from different brands. I think I had three different ones from CoverGirl. I tried two different ones from Sally Beauty. Um, I think I tried two different ones from L'Oreal. Um, two different ones from Physicians Formula. So I tried different formulations and slightly different colors too. Even though I'm s sort of the fish belly white shade, I think I'm an N20 uh, in MAC makeup. So if you can compare that, I'm usually like the second or the third. Uh, from the lightest shade when I go to a line of cosmetics. So some of them were surprises and the winner was a little bit shocking to me and actually the way I put this on each day and went through my work day and checked in the car mirror at lunchtime, oh boy, <laughs> that's a tough test to pass. Looking in the car mirror with your glasses on, it's just horrifying. It really is. You really see not just your bad foundation, but you can see your, the bad makeup job you did if you didn't, you know, check your five by mirror before you left in the morning. Anyway. Um, I used different cheek products over the top afterwards to go to work with, and I found that some foundations didn't take makeup over the top very well. Um, some of them worked really well, some of them didn't. But I could say like 80% of them failed most of my tests. So the top 20% is, um, you know, they did a good job. And there's very little wrong. I have some personal skin issues that other people may not have. Um, around my nose gets dry, and I blow my nose a lot because it's uh, allergy season. So I don't want to count, you know, when it wore off around my nose here because you know, I'm having tissue up there all the time. So, you know, you can't, got to be fair, you know. <laughs> um, so without further ado, I'm going to get into each of the foundations. I put one on one side, one on the other side, and then I powdered them lightly. And then I put my goofy glasses on, and I have goofy glasses just for this. They are big very big glasses so you can see underneath my eyes and you can see when I pull my eyes out a little bit you'll see all the cracks and creases from the foundation. It didn't happen with all of them. I used the same controls with everything so some are definitely better than others for dry skin. Now I have dry skin, wrinkles, creases, uh, St. Bernard lines, I have a chin line under here that's like a crevice and everything seems to want to gravitate to that. When I powdered my face, it seemed to set it nicely, and a lot of these really required setting with powder. And, um, well, anyway, I think you'll be surprised to see the winners. And after I go through all of these tests, I'll be back and tell you what my top five were. L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Serum Absolute. Instantly, even skin tone with a luxuriously lightweight formula that doesn't settle into lines and wrinkles. In four weeks, the potent formula addresses five signs of aging to visibly transform skin to smoother, firmer, brighter, even flawless. Five proven results. More even skin tone, more youthful skin, reduction in fine lines and wrinkles, fewer imperfections, and smoother skin. Well, it was very sheer, and after two coats, it gave a light to medium coverage, looked good under the eyes, a waxy sort of finish. It clung to some dry patches, but it wore down nicely after eight hours. Because it did cling to dry patches, it gets a C from me. This is Absolute New York HD Flawless. Conceal to reveal picture perfect skin. The HD Flawless Foundation by Absolute New York boasts a lightweight water-based formula that melts over skin to instantly hide imperfections, even out skin tone and eliminate excess shine for exceptionally smooth, natural second skin coverage that lasts all day. Well, it was one coat coverage, but it made that lace look under my eyes. It wore off before six hours, and it was so dry, especially under my eyes. It gets a definite D from me.
Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. Lasting Finish 25 Hour Full Coverage. The first long wear foundation with comfort serum for feel good flawless skin that stays put morning to night. Stay True Makeup applies smoothly and evenly, concealing dark circles and imperfections. Leave skin looking flawless all day long. Transfer resistant for up to 25 hours. New skin friendly comfort serum for instant hydration. Lightweight and extra comfortable wear all day. Well, one coat coverage and it did not crease under the eyes, but it dried slightly patchy and oxidized almost a shade darker, and it was Oompa Loompa Orange. By eight hours, it was totally patchy and cakey. It definitely was a fail. It gets an F. Number seven, Stay Perfect. Foundation, it's life proof with su super staying power, uniquely matched to your skin tone. This comfortable foundation feels lightweight and breathable and gives an even tone, beautifully smooth complexion that looks and feels fresh all day long. It can be relied upon to stay perfect, weatherproof and transfer proof. It won't cake or flake on dry skin, nor slide or shine on oily skin. Up to 24 hours wear for non-stop complexion perfection. Well, one coat coverage, initially flawless and a beautiful finish, but it oxidized orange and it looked dry all day. Absolutely a fail. It does get a D. Lani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Combat under eye circles, redness, and other skin imperfections with a full coverage, water-resistant Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. A no-mess, no-drip pump dispenses just the right amount of fluid needed to achieve a flawless look and works around the clock to keep skin looking naturally perfect. Well, it was very yellow toned and it grabbed right onto my dry areas, really patchy. This used to be a favorite, so either it has changed from being on the shelf too long or they altered the formula to cater to oily complexions. It lasted all day, but it left red marks where my glasses impressions were and it just looks so dry. It gets a D plus and I'm really disappointed. And that was a major complaint about this one was that it was very, very uh, warm and yellow tone. It was really hard to pick a shade in this little group. Physician's Formula Argan BB. Luxurious, high-performance formula evens out skin tone, vanishing flaws and imperfections, and smoothing skin texture without ever leaving a greasy feel or finish. Infused with argan oil, known as liquid gold, a magical ingredient from Morocco that transforms skin, helping to enhance skin's youthful glow. Exotically scented formula instantly delivers a lit from within glow. Yeah, it does have a one coat coverage, but it had to be blended into the skin a little bit more than the other foundations in this group. There was a slight lace look under the eyes, but mostly it looked pretty good and hydrated on the rest of my face. The scent didn't bother me, but it would bother many. It lasted six hours. It gets a C minus. And there I am powdering, and I did powder set all of these foundations. It's kind of interesting how I look so different every day in these. I, I am uh, wearing different clothes. You can tell the Mondays. <laughs> uh, this is um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This caused a big stir this year. This is what they said. Your skin only better. Our new high-performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera-ready makeup every time. Specially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin a no-filter perfection. High-performing breakthrough formula featuring light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast in photos. Well, one coat and a beautiful finish. Grabbed onto the dry patches though after about a half an hour and the chin Redness broke through at four hours. My glasses left marks on my nose, and it did look slightly flaky, but it was okay under the eyes. It gets a C. Bourgeois Healthy Mix Serum. Give your skin a radiance 
boost and leave it looking flawless for up to 16 hours. It is enriched with crystalline pigments to even out the complexion while letting in the natural light for that healthy looking glow. Well, one coat coverage with a beautiful natural finish. It lasted five hours before my chin redness broke through. Good under the eyes and really good with pores. This one definitely gets an A from me. Oh, and this is this is one of those Mondays I was talking to you about. <laughs> All right, this is Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. And they say, the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector combines retinol, SPF 20, moisturizer, and blendable sheer coverage to give you beautiful, younger-looking skin even after you take it off. Instantly erases the look of imperfections, smooths out skin's texture, and reduces the appearance of fine lines. Give skin a natural, dewy finish. Well, I'm actually going to agree with them on this one. Two coats and it looks like skin. Soft focus appearance. Beautiful natural finish. It did not sink into lines or pores and looked fabulous until it wore off. It definitely gets an A from me and it's a very unique product. Totally recommend this one. CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. They say, take five years off the look of your skin. This smooth liquid foundation with an exclusive Olay Amino Peptide Complex blends into the skin, covering fine lines and wrinkles for radiant, beautiful coverage that actually helps give you a youthful appearance. Pair with Advanced Radiance Press Powder to set your look. Well, this did give me a one coat coverage and it was excellent under the eyes. It is a medium coverage and it did not sink into lines or creases and all my pores looked just fine. It lasted at least six hours. It gets a definite A from me and I was really pleasantly surprised from this. Femme Couture, Get Flawless. This is from Sally's Beauty. They said, leave skin looking smooth and flawless. Eight great benefits in one easy step. Femme Couture, Get Flawless 8-in-1 Foundation delivers eight great skin benefits in one easy step. <laughs> okay. This acts as a moisturizer, primer, foundation, concealer, powder, and color corrector while helping to smooth lines. And this formula is also 97% oil-free. All right, it was a one coat coverage and it was pretty good under the eyes. It did not cover up some of my age spots or capillaries. It did have a great finish and it lasted at least five hours. It was slightly dry, but um, I liked it overall. This gets a B minus. LA Girl Pro Coverage Illuminating Foundation. LA Girls High Definition Long Wear Foundation is ideal for flawless looking full coverage finish. Lightweight formula is comfortable for all day wear. Added antioxidants help hydrate and improve the skin's appearance. Well, it was one coat coverage, but I got that immediate lacy look under my eyes and it sunk into all my lines, exaggerated my nose pores, and it had a patchy breakdown after less than five hours. This one gets a D minus from me. Catrice All Matte Plus Oil Control Foundation. They said, the perfect basis for every season's makeup looks. A matte complexion. Acts like a second invisible skin. Unwanted shine is controlled and the complexion is mattified. This foundation offers great coverage to make little skin imperfections disappear. Light reflecting pigments ensure a silky matte finish and a flawless, fresh look. Well, this foundation has a stunning finish. It's great under the eyes and it lasted at least six hours. There were no marks on my nose from my heavy glasses and it really handled my large pores well, even the orange skin peel ones. 
The chin broke through after about eight hours. It wore down really well. This is a definite A or an A plus from me. LA Girl Pro BB Cream. They said, HD Pro BB Cream is formulated without parabens and made fragrance-free to pamper sensitive skin and lavishly nourish skin with added vitamins B3, C, and E. The Silky Formula covers a wide range of skin tones with eight diverse shades. This is your all-in-one skin beautifier that primes, moisturizes, and enhances skin tone. Well, it did have one coat coverage and a beautiful finish after being powdered down. It did not take other makeup well over the top, though, like the blush and the contour. I got that lacy look after about a half an hour, and it grabbed onto all my dry patches. There were no m nose marks, and it lasted a, a bit of time, but it gets a D because it wasn't really that great. And there I am comparing the sides. I kind of liked, initially liked them. Okay, here we go. This is Alme Smart Shade. And they said, Smart Shade makeup in your ideal shade with Alme Tone Mimic technology for makeup that complements your skin tone and provides natural looking coverage for an all day wear. Perfect your complexion while protecting your skin with Broad Spectrum SPF 15, available in three smart shades. Well, it's not very smart exactly. It went on white and stayed white. I'm not sure about that color correcting stuff. Maybe it took my fish belly white comments to heart. The formula itself felt like grease paint and sunk into every line and crease. It never got darker. I wound up putting another foundation over it to get an even color to get through my work day. It was a total fail, and it gets an F from me. Sonia Kashik Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. They said, use the sheer lightweight formula in place of foundation for a natural glowing complexion infused with a vitamin complex that helps stimulate collagen production to keep skin cells looking stronger and younger. One editor's pick, best tinted moisturizer in Total Beauty Awards for TotalBeauty.com. Ratty won Daily Glows Com um, 2012 Beauty Award. Well, a beautiful one coat coverage slightly sank into my deeper wrinkles, but patted them out easily, and it looked great after powdering it up. It did look nice from a distance, but close up, it was slightly dry. This gets a B plus because it actually was fairly good. CoverGirl CG Smoothers. They said, designed with aqua current science, CG Smoothers All Day Hydrating Makeup provides super moisturizing coverage. From the instant you smooth it on, all you'll see and feel is naturally beautiful, smooth skin. Your natural makeup look lasts for up to 11 hours. Well, it went on in one coat with a slightly waxy look. It was terrible under my eyes and sunk into my deeper wrinkles looking like cracks in the sidewalk down around my chin. I topped it with a powder foundation to smooth the appearance out, but it still creased badly in the eye area after only an hour or so. It gets a total F. Absolutely horrible. Ulta Double Duty Foundation. This is Ulta's uh, home brand, one of their foundations that is a color changing one. Ulta's Double Duty Foundation does double the work with coverage of a foundation with benefits of a foundation primer in one product. Medium to full coverage foundation combines silicone and soft focus complex that is used in foundation primers to smooth, mattify, and provide lasting coverage. Formula is paraben-free, oil-free, and fragrance-free. Vegan-friendly. 
Well, it went on very thick and cakey, and I immediately saw a lacy look under my eyes. It cracked on my face like a desert floor. My pores were magnified, and it was just one complete horror show. It gets an F. Revlon Color Stay Normal Dry. This is apparently America's number one foundation, according to them. In 35 shades for every skin tone and type, flawless demi matte coverage that lasts up to 24 hours. Comfortable, lightweight formula specifically made for normal or dry skin to provide a smooth, perfected look. Well, it covered in one coat and it had a waxy but a dry look that creased in my eye area. Looked slightly better than the whipped version and it lasted six hours before breaking down. It gets a D plus. And there I am giving it the old college try there. And initially a lot of these look really good because when you apply them with the beauty blender um, it goes on slightly damp but when it dries down you'll start seeing the little fibers of the pigments. Now this was a fun competition because I put it up against the other Color Stay, and that is Revlon Color Stay Whipped. And they said, finally, truly decadent makeup offers ultimate performance. The mousse-like texture feels like silk on your skin, and the time-release formula balances skin for a flawless look. All day flexible wear without flaking, caking, or feeling heavy. This went on in one coat and sank into every line and probably created more. Fibers and flakes close up and I kept patting out the creases but it kept edging back into them. My nose area looked horrible with dry patches and it was clinging to any wrinkle on my face it could find. It was a total disaster. Gets an F. I really tried blending and blending and blending. Absolutely a nightmare. My goodness. L'Oreal. True Match Lumi. They said, 40% pure water for all day hydration. Antioxidants, vitamin C and E for improved clarity and skin tone. Liquid light technology for an instant luminous glow. Isn't it time you met your match, as they said. Well, it had a nice one coat coverage and it settled slightly into my deeper lines, but I patted them out and they were just fine. It was okay under the eyes and it was the perfect color. It lasted over six hours and wore off evenly when it did begin to break down. This one gets an A from me. I was very impressed. ELF BB Cream. They said, prime, protect, moisturize, and perfect your skin with this multitasking ELF Cosmetics BB Cream infused with key anti-aging ingredients like vitamin E, jojoba, aloe, and cucumber to hydrate and nourish the skin. The smoothing formula minimizes fine lines and provides a natural tint of color for seamless coverage, cruelty-free and vegan. Well, it, it has a strong suntan lotion kind of scent to it, and it immediately sunk into every line that was way, way too dry under my eyes. It was bad, 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 patchy coverage, and it was patchy like from about a half an hour after I put it on. It was a long, embarrassing day at work. This one gets an F. Cover Girl. Outlast 3-in-1. 
The CoverGirl Outlast Stay, fabulous 3-in-1 foundation longwear that keeps you all day flawless. Longwear designed to stay fabulous all day because it has concealer and primer built in. Smooth, even coverage and an SPF 20. It had a one coat coverage. It was a slightly waxy finish. It had severe under eye lacy look and it clung to all dry patches. And it was so horrible after only two hours. It's a failure I won't ever forget. I actually washed it off at work and, and rather went without makeup than have it on. This was a definite F. This is Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. They said it's a face makeup that fits you. No oils, no waxes, no nonsense. This foundation blends seamlessly for light to medium natural coverage that leaves skin the way it was meant to be. Fresh, breathing, flawless. The exclusive translucent base and lightweight pigments allow skin's natural highs and lows to show through. Well, um, one coat coverage for an initial natural look, but after a half an hour it dried. It crept into all my lines. It looked cakey, like a cupcake cakey, and under my eyes was so lacy it looked like I had fabric under my eyes. It was a disaster. Nothing fit me about this foundation. It gets a definite F. F for fit me. <laughs> And there I am using my Ben Nye Cameo Luxury Powder to set. That's what I'm setting all of these with. Yeah, I can't decide which is worse. All right, this is Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Fairly new from them. Neutrogena's hydration-infused weightless water gel Hydro Boost hydrating tint plumps skin and boosts hydration while providing natural-looking coverage. The benefits, it moisturizes and plumps skin for 24 hours, doesn't settle into fine lines, boosts hydration for 24 hours or more. Who wears their makeup 24 hours? <laughs> Smoother skin over time, better for your skin than wearing no makeup at all. Make up your skin better, even after you take it off. Well, initially it went on well, but it dried down and it looked kind of ashy. It looked terribly patchy around the mouth, too. Um, it was a difficult foundation for anyone with wrinkles or dry skin to wear, but I think this may work for somebody who has oily skin. It gets a C-. minus. Maybelline Dream Cushion. Maybelline's increased color pigments deliver complete luminous coverage for fresh face perfection in the Dream Cushion fresh, fresh Face Liquid Foundation. It's liquid foundation reinvented. Complete luminous coverage for all skin types. Available in a collection of fresh shades. Well, it looked great at first, but after it dried down, it did sink into the lines and had a flaky look. Pores were exaggerated on my nose and chin, but it was good coverage for a foundation. It would be great for a normal to oily combo skin, but I always feel that these cushion foundations are quite a ripoff because you only get probably about a third of the product that you would get if this same liquid foundation was in a bottle. It's all in the um, hype, I guess. I just found it inconvenient and messy and yucky. There I am making faces. I don't like either one of these. Ick. Okay. Here we are. This is e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. This used to be a favorite of mine. I don't know what happened here. Achieve a flawless complexion with the Silky Smooth e.l.f. Cosmetics Flawless Finish Foundation. Cruelty-free and vegan. Lightweight and oil-free formula blends in naturally for a beautiful semi-matte finish. Applies easily and lasts all day for visibly brighter and radiant-looking skin. Restores uneven skin textures and tones. Well, it went on nicely, but soon streaky and cupcake-like. Fibers in the makeup showed close up and wore off patchy and quickly. It did not last even till lunch break. This one gets a D minus. CoverGirl Simply Age Ageless. CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ages 3-in-1 Liquid Foundation instantly reduces wrinkles, improves tone, and hydrates to firm skin. Hydrates skin over time. 
Reduces the look of discoloration, fine lines, and wrinkles. Instantly helps you look younger. CoverGirl Beauty meets Olay Science. Instantly gives you a flawless look. Well, it had a creamy application. It went on patchy, dried cakey, and my chin redness showed through at the one hour mark. It lasted eight hours, but I was a hot mess most of that time. This gets a definite F from me. L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. They said get up to 24 hours of full coverage with a lightweight feel and a natural finish. L'Oreal's Infallible Total Cover Foundation blends instantly to cover dark spots, blemishes, scars, and hyperpigmentation for a flawless complexion. The foundation is formulated with high load pigments for full coverage and is enriched with Alia Gel. The formula glides on and feels fresh all day. It will create the perfect canvas for flawless makeup application. Weightless feel, new pro look of long wear. Well, it went on like a mask, and it initially looked smooth, but soon dried down to a cakey mess. It lasted all day, but it looked pretty dry and cracked, and it sunk into my deeper lines. It gets an F from me. Femme Couture Get Luminous Foundation. They said... Buildable for sheer to full coverage, lightweight luminous foundation, radiant finish, Femme Couture Get Luminous Foundation is a lightweight that creates an instant healthy glow. This buildable sheer to full coverage makeup enhances, brightens, and perfects your natural skin complexion without masking. The silky formula blends effortlessly, leaving a positively radiant finish. Well, after I was just loving that Get Flawless foundation, which is also from this line, I thought it would be a step up to get this one. This was a total fail. It looked like lace under the eyes and went into all my lines. There was nothing luminous about this. It lasted about four hours, but it looked so dry. I added some of another foundation over it to cover the mess. Yeah, there I am, trying to decide which I hate the most. Now this is something very unique. This is Alme Healthy Glow Foundation and Self Tanner. Alme's Healthy Glow Makeup and Self Tan is the only makeup with a built-in gradual self tanner. Medium coverage makeup perfects your skin. Skin looks flawless. Skin looks luminous. Mistake-proof application. Allow three days of consecutive use to begin seeing lasting results with the tanner. Natural healthy glow remains after makeup removal. Overall appearance of bare skin is improved. Long-lasting, beautiful results remain up to three days after discontinued product use. Natural looking color and streak free. Low to no odor. Well, um, you have to use this on clean skin, so I did not use a moisturizer under this. I like that it's separate tubes of products and you mix them together. It's the first foundation in a self-tanner on the market, and I had high hopes for this. It went on like a sheer foundation, and it looked like flawless skin. And a couple hours later, it actually had a really pretty color to it. After about four hours, I noticed the foundation portion looked a little fiber-like, and it was dry. Alme has terrible foundations for older skin. If only they had mixed a better foundation with it. And there I am showing you the two different sections. Um... Yeah, this, this tanner would be perfect if it had a slightly better foundation with it. I did put it on my hands, and it, it really did improve the look of my hands. I loved the glow after washing off the product at night, and I will continue to use this one, but I hated the foundation. Now, one foundation that did not make it into the um, whole testing was so terrible, I didn't even bother. It's the Model's Own Foundation, brand new at Ulta. And I thought something called Models Own sounded like a quality foundation, and boy was I duped. It was the worst, the most patchy, the driest foundation in the entire group. I did not film it, and I don't care what their claims are. It gets an F-. minus. So, the top five are, number five is... The CoverGirl Advanced Radiance with Olay. This is a really nice um, all-purpose foundation. 
This stayed on most of the day. It did increase under my eyes. There was a little bit of dryness, but um, for the most part, this was a pretty nice little foundation. Number four, this is the True Match Lumi foundation from L'Oreal. That is number four. And I tried um, a couple different ones from L'Oreal, and this is the one that did work actually really well. Um, you know, you have to think that I did 31 foundations, and this is number four, so it did a good job. Uh, somebody had suggested I try this, and I think the color is slightly, maybe a half shade dark for me, but they have quite a collection of different colors in this line. Um, but the other L'Oreal products did not work very well for me. And the number three spot is a Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. You can get this on Amazon. You can get it, um, I think, Beauty Place. I think there's a couple places you can get it, as well as ordering it online from uh, there's various sites that will have it. But this is really nice. So this is the color Vanilla. And um, I could probably go a little bit darker with this. I might get one of those LA Colors Darkening Drops uh, foundations and see if I can make this just a little bit darker. But I, I really like this, and it lasted quite a while. This is a new one, and I'd never tried this before, and I think it's brand new. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. It has got an unusual, moussey, gel kind of feel to it. It feels different than any of the other foundations I tried, and it, it literally, when I was putting it on my skin, it really looked like it was blurring out my lines. I was just so impressed. Um, the downside of this is that it didn't last very long. It only lasted about four hours, but I tell you, those first four hours, it was flawless. I thought this was going to be the winner. It was just a magnificent uh, foundation, or whatever it's supposed to be, perfecter. Um, really like this one, and I think I have the medium to light shade in this, in the Neutrogena. Now, what would the winner be? It's a total surprise. It's probably one of the most inexpensive of all of the drugstore foundations and I have gone through about four bottles of this. I liked it before I did this test and it is number one. It is Catrice All Matte Oil Control Makeup and oil control signals to a lot of us with dry skin to stay away from it because it would be very patchy and dry and cakey. But this is a beautiful foundation. This rivals high-end foundations, and I'm, I'm tempted to try it against my winning high-end foundation to see who wins. This one lasted about six hours. Um, it's, it went on well. I think it's $5.99. It's an excellent, excellent foundation. All matte from Catrice. And this is the winner of my favorite drugstore foundations after the Foundation Wars. Um, this is the number one. Now the next foundation war that I'm going to be doing is the powder foundations and I'm mixing high-end and low-end powder foundations because I don't have as many of those. So I'm just going to compete them all with each other. Why not? You know, dirt is dirt, you know, with this mineral foundation. <laughs> crushed up rocks is crushed up rocks. So we'll see how it goes with those. Um, I know that some of you may have been disappointed in some of your favorites that didn't fare too well, but you have to consider my skin is very, very dry. Um, it's got a lot of creases and wrinkles and lines, and you know, I did pat out a few places, and I think I have the, yeah, I have the new, the new one from Femme Couture from Sally's on this side, and I had, um, on this side, I think it was L'Oreal Color Cover, Total Cover, I think, on this side. And they're both very, very dry. So I actually cheated and used a little bit of Physician's Formula Brightening Oil, just a drop. I, I kind of worked it in, and it helped a little bit. But you know, that's, when you have dry skin, it just looks like lace under your eyes, just look like you put a piece of lace right underneath your face. That's what it looks like when you get up close. When you're far away, it looks really pretty. But when you get up close, like most people talking about two feet away from you, they can see that little lace thing and the dryness around the area here going into the lines. My chin was peeking through after about two hours. 
So, I mean, those were fails. I mean, I had these tests that I put all of these foundations through. Um, it had to last, it had to cover nicely, uh, it had to not go into the lines, it had to not give me that lacy look under the eyes, it had to look good in the 11s, it had to last a little bit longer than a few hours. So these all passed the tests. I think the only one that didn't last more than four hours was this and it wore down nicely. And I'm almost wondering if this combined with one of the others uh, would make a perfect foundation because I'm so impressed with this Neutrogena. Um, healthy Skin Perfector is just phenomenal. So, this was a lot of fun, and I'd love it if you could tell me what your favorite drugstore or high-end foundation is below, because I'm gonna do a giveaway. And the giveaway is, you're gonna get a sample of my top 10 high-end foundations. All 10 of them in this little sample thing, and I've got a few other goodies I'm throwing in there. Um, I just need you to tell me what kind of skin you have, if it's oily or combo or normal or dry, and what your favorite foundation is right now. What one do you reach for? Because I learned so much from all of you. And I'm sorry if I forgot anybody in this group. There are a lot of foundations out there. Um, <laughs> I will be drawing in one week the winners. There'll be three of you who win. Any internationals are welcome. I had an international in last group, and actually the group before I had an international as well. So uh, it's open to anybody. Again, just write down in the comments what your favorite foundation is, high-end or low-end, what you reach for, and what kind of skin type you have. And I'll just enter you in, and I will do a quick little video saying who the winners are. And you got to look for it and get in touch with me so that I can get the packages addressed out to you. Okay? Hope everybody's having a wonderful week and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.